All right, crew, we're talking strict pull-ups since that's the monthly challenge. So why do we do strict? We do strict because it helps us get stronger. Obviously, that helps for the kipping. Um, a lot of people say I should do strict before I do kipping just to build up the strength in the shoulders and stuff like that just to keep us safe. So that's why we do strict. If you improve in strict reps, then chances are you improve in kipping rep, reps, right? So that's why we do strict. So what does it look like? What we want to see, elbows staying tight. We want the toes in front of the nose and she's just going to pull until the chin gets over the bar. Some faults that we tend to see, all right, that's a good one, is that we tend to see people kind of kip. So either they get a little help, a little bit of up either at the start or at the finish. The other one is maybe they don't lock out the arms all the way. So they may do a rep and then they come down and they just kind of stay bent the entire time, right? Uh, one of the most famous ones is this broken position. So if Tasha does this again, instead of having the toes in front of the nose, they're super overextended and then they're kind of reaching with the chin, right? So what we want, once again, toes in front of the nose and I'm not reaching with the chin, I'm actually pulling the bar underneath the chin. That's what we wanna see, belly stays tight, right? Those are good positions. As far as progressions, if I can't really do strict pull-ups yet, what could I do? Well, the first one is chin-up. Sometimes this is easier because it's more bicep than lat, and people just tend to make it easier. So they can do it that way. Maybe that's an option for you. Still the same thing, toes in front of the nose. If I can't do that, we could do like a chin over the bar hold. So what we would be looking for here, if she would start, she could use a box to help her. She gets the chin over the bar, and then she would just accumulate that. Toes is still in front of the nose, and maybe we try to hold it for 10, 20 seconds. Whatever grip works for you doesn't really matter too much to us. Another one we could do would be like a negative. So the same exact thing, she's gonna start with the chin over, and then she's gonna control the lower, make it last three or five seconds until the arms are all the way locked out, right? So notice, she's controlling it through the entire range of motion. Once she locks out, then the feet come back on the box and she repeats it. Maybe like five reps, a couple sets of that, just doing uh, control three to five seconds. Another one could be a banded version, right? We know the bands pretty well. I would say pick a band that gives you eight to 12 reps in a row, but it's difficult for eight to 12 reps. But remember, same position, I don't reach with the chin. I pull the bar down, I keep the toes in front of the nose, no kipping, okay? Another one we could do would be the ring rows. So what we're looking for, I know this is more a horizontal pull instead of a vertical pull, but pulling is pulling and it's gonna get us stronger. So we wanna make these as hard as possible. What we're looking for is three sets, I would say for max reps, or something like accumulate 30 to 50, but we're just pulling until the rings make contact and then we're coming back to lockout. She can put her feet on a box to make it more difficult. She can go flatter, whatever she needs to. Um, the last one we would do would be like a lap pull down. So once again, copying the same idea of the pull up. Thicker band makes it harder. Thinner band makes it easier. Obviously, if I go higher on the pull up bar, that also makes it more difficult as well. All I'm gonna do is just like a pull up, pull until the chin comes down, chest is staying up, feet staying in front, and we would try to get 20 to 30 reps, do a few sets of lit like that. And I would treat it more like a pump session where I'm just treating back and forth and going and trying to get basically um, a lot of basically time under tension and a lot of reps that way. So those are some options for the strict and what we can do to kind of improve. But remember, pulling is pulling. If I want to get it better at pulling, I need to do it often and I need to do different variations.